Good morning and welcome back. I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm on my way to the house, so I'm driving, so I'm looking forward. I can't look at you, sorry. Um, but instead of waiting and doing long kind of explanatory videos like I've been doing, I'm gonna try to do some quicker, more real-time updates of what's going on at the house. And I thought today would be a great day to start that because I've been away for a month with the wedding and travels and being sick. So it's my first time down here, so I'm a little anxious to get here. It's early in the morning. It's about, uh, I don't know, it's, I left home about 6.30. It takes me about an hour to drive down here. So my mind is racing. There's a lot going on. I have a, a woman coming down to meet with me. Her name is Heather, and she reached out through YouTube and Instagram, and she has volunteered to help. I've been using the month away from the house to kind of organize my thoughts, make a bunch of lists, and as I said, things will have to change a little bit with the non-profit and how we're doing things and the order and the timing of which we're doing things, so I've used this time to kind of retool my thinking and get a grip on things, but I have been making a long list of things that I think she can help me with because it's going to be very important going forward that I learn how to relinquish some control and let other people step up and help more. So this will be exciting. So I am um, going to get back to driving. I'm going to stop light, um, but I will pick up back when I get to the house. See you in a minute. In addition to Heather coming today, the plumber is also supposed to start today. So I'm anxious to meet with him. But I'm here at the property, and the first thing I always do is do a quick run around the building, make sure it hasn't been broken into since it's been broken into a couple times before. But at first glance, everything looks good. The yard mowing service is working out great. Everything's green. There was a lot of rain while I was gone. This bush isn't supposed to be there. That's an old trashy tallow tree that needs to come down. Um, but yeah, it's checking out pretty good. I see my big pile of brick rubble is still there. Elves didn't come while I was gone and take care of any of this messy yard stuff, but I'll get to that. I can tell there's been a lot of rain. The ground is really saturated and I can see where the sand has kind of been flowing because there's so much rain. Everything seems to be locked up but now that I'm thinking about rain I think I'm going to go over and check on that retention pond and see if it's got water in it. Everything is pretty mushy over here. It doesn't well it doesn't look like there's a lot of water. It's pretty muddy down there and it's kind of yucky so my guess is that was full yesterday. It's just soaked in to the ground. The mosquitoes are everywhere. It's pretty bad out here. We haven't had a lot of mosquitoes this year because it was dry the first half of the summer, but with all the rain while I'm gone, they're just swarming everywhere. I'm getting eaten alive while I go around this house, but it does look like nobody's broken in. Man, this bamboo's getting really out of control and bad. I think I'm going to have to make a decision about taking that out pretty soon before it takes over the yard. I hate to lose it. It's my possum habitat. Go check under the porch. This is an area with a lot of dark nooks and crannies and if I were going to hide somewhere under the house I'd be under here hiding. So I'm always a little tentative going under but boy it sure looks good with all the work done and being cleaned out. I've forgotten how nice it looks down here now. I guess beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock the door and go in. I have an alarm system. I obsessively check. Okay, I do what I always do. I got all excited and forgot to film today. Be, <laughs> That's Heather over there in the dark. I would, uh, I'm, I just would love to know who the maker of this beautiful hardware is. Is this door unlocked? Can I open this? You can up? open it. Okay, let me take a picture of this hardware, too. She loves finding hardware. Oh, I do. So she's love, on the hunt. She's taking pictures of everything missing. And I think it's cast bronze, is my guess. That would be the typical thing that you would find on a front door. And I mean, this is like some serious locking mechanisms here. 
and they stole this one and we have another slot we have two more slide bolts missing two slide bolts and the mate but it's just the latch part and the plate's gone yeah okay so i mean let me make a note of that of what what that is oh i can so front but yeah it's interesting how they change from that to this other once you get into the inside and then i don't know what those slide bolts are going to look like because they're not going to look like this one. no because they would be this, more like the front door this, hardware right because this is going to match all the stuff that's inside the house on the windows and then once we get up to the second floor then it's a totally different pattern again so um yeah that's typical Okay, I've given Heather some tasks, so <laughs> and one of them you... is looking at having the fan repaired or rewound to see if it can be in working order again. It came out of the family bathroom. Well, yeah, and this is like made of porcelain. Yeah, but that hangs on a hook, so that's where the, the fan hangs from the ceiling. And it, it it's, gives it's it It's like some... a hook, mm -hmm. and then it can swivel slightly and vibrate. Gosh. I just didn't even realize they had fans that early. <laughs> That's nuts. Okay, so let's go look at that bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's here, yes. I get to be the filmographer I today. Lost and <laughs> I keep getting lost. She's anymore. already learned her way around. Not really. I just keep getting lost. Hold on, I'm gonna get on the other side. Okay, so this. So the other thing she's gonna hunt for is the missing pedestal sink from this 1920s added on bathroom. And I've got the measurements here for what we can and cannot do. And it has to be something white porcelain from the 20s. And that is probably the original toilet. So let's see if we can let me take but a picture of it that. It may be the original toilet, but at one time it was a tanked toilet. Oh. Possibly with a, or a rear dish. I don't know. I don't know what that hole yeah, is. But see the way the tub is and stuff? I mean, it, at least like the feeling of this is what this should have. You know what I'm saying? Yes. As far as this was definitely probably a tub from the 20s too. And this is probably some mega heavy cast iron. I think it's solid porcelain. Maybe we can look in the hole. Oh, yes. Hold on. Yeah, it's porcelain. If you come look in the look in the hatch see it's porcelain that probably weighs 500 pounds don't you know it oh my goodness just hopefully there's no termites is, under that what is this piece here? that is the stopper mechanism That's a very i think fancy brass yeah piece of plumbing hardware there yeah. even though we're still in the 1920s yeah so i have a question whether or not this can stay and have a tank put on the back of it, mm -hmm. which in the 20s they would have been using either the low tank or there's no tank mounts on this wall. So my guess is it had a tank mounted to the bowl. It had to, yeah, because I don't see any, I don't see any damage see to any the wall mounts. other than this one hole right here. Okay, I have a question. What is this one Toilet for? paper dispenser. It is? Yeah, oh, I see holes. it. Okay. I was like, why yeah. would you have soap next to the toilet? Okay, I see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now, see, now we transition into the more simple. But see, these are from the 20s. Here. This would have this been added in 1920. But these are definitely, these definitely, I can tell you, are not brass or bronze. These are the cheap metal and they were probably like brass plated. So this is no great shapes. But I think these are still, you know, they're certainly worth taking They'll off clean and up cleaning and up. Good. And, I, I doubt they're rust. They could be, but there's there looks like too much rust on it for it to actually be solid brass. You normally wouldn't see that kind of rust. Mm -mm. Just and tarnish. this is cool. Did you notice this? These are the shutter mechanisms to open and close the shutter from the inside. And these are the wood shutters. Those on are the wood outside, shutters like on the outside, and so okay, those are that. yeah ratchets that can open and close the shutter. So it, I noticed that like all of these are broken in here. For some reason, all the glass, it's either missing or broken on all these from the 20s. So well, you can find those, can't you? I should be able to find these. And this is just the little rosette back. And even if we can't find... But, I, you know, I've never seen these. I've seen a lot of glass knobs, but not, not set in like with this. With this little inset? Yeah, mm -hmm. with the inset, which I think those are cute. And if even if we can't find... We can at least save the rosette. If we can't find the rosette, you can keep this part, but we could find maybe the 
the guts. I'm going to take a picture of that because that might be helpful in identifying how it is. So there's one, how many of these? Two. See, this one's busted. Wasn't, wasn't there Two. one in the uh, room downstairs on that door? Didn't you say it was broken? Yeah, I was thinking there was another one up here, though. No, this is another pocket. Oh, oh, there's, this has got hardware. That's good. That's got hardware. It's just painted. Why paint over hardware? Okay, and then you've got glass here. No, nope, it's not here. There must be another one downstairs. I think downstairs. it was downstairs. So we need like three yeah. of those. Okay, so like three, three of those. Every time I come, I notice something different. Look at this switch plate. It's actually got a little it has a, bow. Yep, it has a decoration pattern. on it. It sure does. I bet that can be saved. Oh, yeah. It can be get all the rest That's off really of it. That's really cute. Over the... the only thing about, you know, the new knob and tube, you know, push buttons, mm -hmm. they're not typically in the same spacing. Why? I don't know. Why would you do that? I don't know. But I, I just noticed that, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to use this plate with the new spacing, but... I don't know. There's not many places to buy the new. No, I've looked at them online. They're you know, like twenty bucks. Yeah, uh -huh, that's what I use. And you can get them with the pearl a dollar, or just yeah. the black. Or my grandmother had them in her house. But this this spacing will be different. It'll be bigger, so you probably won't. You'll just have to put that in your museum. Of Aww, fancies. Yeah. That'll make me sad. Okay, Heather and I were wrapping up, but she has a decorative painting business oh, called finishes with finishes flair, with flair. Mm -hmm. and so i thought she'd be a great person to ask about this on the wall in the parlor i noticed when i was scraping it a few months ago that underneath the paint up against the plaster layer is this shimmery silver metallic layer and it's somewhat flexible like a paint i thought maybe it was a silver leaf um but we just don't know what it is. So See, here it is again. Look, I'll pull it up. We've been pulling some more of it off. And where I had little pieces before, now with the humidity, we're getting some great big See, chunks. See, look how it wants to peel off. You can off. see it's like peeling in a layer. So this may have been a metallic paint. So the question is, did they paint this room silver at one time? Or is this maybe some kind of a primer or a... Who knows what? It's hard to know what it but is. Anyway, I want to feel like they used a wallpaper, but this is not but really it's not wallpaper. wallpaper. No. It's definitely like a flexible paint of some sort. It's uh, earlier than my years of <laughs> <laughs> what it is. Oh my goodness! She's a baby. Yeah. But right. Anyway, so it's we're coming gonna... off, but the metallic is facing the wall. When you peel it off, that's when you get the metallic part, and it's more dull. Yeah, and we don't know if it's metallic side. because it's coming off the plaster, and so that didn't react with it. And then the paint side has reacted with it and dulled it. So was it? Weird. All shiny. Then this would have been a fancy is, shiny it room. Could have been a very fancy shiny room. Interesting. But anyway, we're going to take it home, and she's going to do some research Let's see on if we that. Can figure out what this is. And put it in see, a baggie. See, <laughs> so I don't get left. Bag it up. <laughs> That's right. I'll bag watch, it up. Bag I watch, it and tag it. I watch all the um, watch your criminal stuff. shows, so we'll Let's, put it in an evidence bag. <laughs> right. We will put it in evidence. We'll, oh, you know what? Actually, we'll, we'll bag it oh, and tag wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait right there. I have okay. something. Hold on. Okay, the box is a little dusty, but I actually bought evidence bags. <laughs> you sure did. Because I find so much weird stuff in this house that I like to bag up and save. Is this unopened? That's unopened. Okay, That's my fresh that. box I got. So, yeah, go. We you, each... you should pan around the room and see how you've got see all these squares peeled off, where you can see it's really dull. The silver. Though. Yeah, but you can tell it, it was all over you the can whole room. Metallic on the back. The whole room had it on there. I mean, it is major metallic. Yeah, it's super duper shiny. Super shiny. Oh, that's really shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Oops. All right. You need a bag and I need a bag. Okay. <laughs> Let me get you a That's a song, here. isn't it? You take yeah. a bag and I'll take a bag, baby. Let me open it up. All right. There you go. Okay. Right. We're both going to do some research. Do you want one of these pieces? No, I'm good. You've got plenty. I've got plenty. <laughs> okay, say that again. <laughs> I said, what? I said, I wonder if this is going to be our big clue to find out what kind of finish was in here on these walls. I don't know, but one thing, well, if you notice, I can show you over here. This room hasn't been painted too many times. So here's this last layer of paint. And underneath it is really only, like creamy... is only one more layer. So but when... then there's this yellow color under it. 
see there's this gold yellow which is what we're pulling off also on the back yeah. of that so it was so, like it was that gold color which they loved in the victorian era and then it looks like they went cream and then they went this even wider color but as we scrape we've only it's found like, like three two layers three layers of paint as old as this house so, is so, oh yeah here look here's that more um this is the cream. sec but see the previous yeah. one here so you've got yeah. like one two three colors and that's it that's, that's, that's it. hardly anything for a hundred and something so a typical first day back i got all excited meeting heather we were running around like crazy looking at stuff we spent eight hours digging into all the detail of this house and i forgot to film most of it for you but um, i think you get the gist of just how great she's going to be and what a big help um, she's on the hunt she knows the pliers she's done this before you know there's a lot of missing hardware that was stolen and it takes a long time to track that down in fact i just remembered that before i leave today i was supposed to go take one of the window sash pulls off so we could see if there's a manufacturer's mark on that so i'm going to do that and sign off oh and the plumber no showed so that's uh you know that was a uh, problem but he says he's coming thursday so i'll be back down and hopefully we'll get moving on that until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you back here at the jc league house in galveston texas